Oh, Disney. Created in 1923 and is one of the biggest animation companies in the entire universe, have created a whole bunch of great movies. From Sleeping Beauty, Peter Pan, Aladdin, to one of their greatest and most progressive movies of all time, Toy Story. Geez, it made a ton of money. Like, a chubby African black American. guy laying in money type of money, alright? But, enough of that. Toy Story was one of the fully, first fully length animated films ever. Later on, though, Lord of the Rings created their first animated, like, fully animated CGI character. Or computer-generated imagery, Gollum. But, enough of that. Let's briefly review the two new shows of Disney that they have right now. Let's start off with, probably the best, Gravity Falls. This show follows the siblings Dipper and Mabel. Now, they go around, they go to a small town in Oregon named Gravity Falls to meet their Uncle Stan, a gambler slash store owner who, he's just a funny guy, you know? And they go on crazy adventures from solving mystery of the lock, uh, of type of Loch Ness Monster thing to vampires to gnomes to unicorns. And they also, like, solve, like, other little mysteries and stuff uh, throughout the town. And just in general, they like to have fun. The art and animation for it is just stupendous. It's really good. It's by far one of the best I've seen for a while. And sometimes it has weird or awkward moments, but that's fine. Now let's talk about, you know... <coughs> oh, Phineas and Ferb. It hurts just to think about it. But Phineas and Ferb is just... It's just disgusting. It's bland and boring. It has no, no character to it. The characters are the same. Everything's boring. Same thing every time. Oh, Perry, what do you want to do today, Perry? Where's Perry? What you doing? It's boring. And, yeah, that's it. Done. I'm done with that. Alright. Like, but to be honest, Walt would not like that. He'd Probably. hate it. He would honestly hate what Gravity... I mean, what Phineas and Ferb is. Sorry, I'm in a tangent because I freaking hate Phineas and Ferb. But, now let's talk about a really good studio. Studio Ghibli, which have not done anything bad so far. Um... It was first created in 1985 by Hayao Miyazaki. Hayao? Hayao? Meh, doesn't really matter. Hayao Miyazaki created Studio Ghibli. That's all I gotta know. And they've been doing pretty great with My Neighbor Totoro and Prince of Makanoke, which has, like, really good eco-friendly theme in it. And just really, it's really good. It has a old technique, what they use with the old animation cells, but then they, what they did is that they added CGI over it to just make it a lot better. And yeah, it's just really stunning when you look at the when you look at the uh, animation style and just the background and everything. But this leads me to my next subject: digital versus traditional. And there's a lot of ups and downs. Like traditional, you can go anywhere you want and draw. It doesn't cost a lot of money, but it also doesn't have an undo. And it's also not as full as full potential with digital. And yeah, uh, in the end of this, I just want to talk about my three favorite artists. First off, let's just start with, and not in particular order, Frank Miller, creator of The Dark Knight Returns and inspired Batman vs. Superman, but without all the badness of it. <laughs> and next, let's talk about Greg Capullo, who also drew for Batman, the current Batman in The New 52. And it's been a pretty good run. Next we have Piccolo, who's done his famous for his 365 days of doodles, which is drawing every day for a whole year. 365. Alright? Well, thanks for everything. Have a nice day.